What's up, my people? It's your boy, back again, Rookie Stacker. Back with another one. I always like to start the video off by saying thank you. Everybody been supporting, showing love, dropping knowledge in the comments. I've been posting a lot lately because I've been uh, making goals for myself. And uh, one of my goals is to try to post at least three videos a week. Oh, my bad. Try to post at least three videos a week. And uh, that way, even if I have a bad week, I know because I'm trying to get three, I'm at least going to get two. But uh, I know that when it comes to uh, building some real momentum in this thing, it's about being consistent, you know, making sure people see your name. So I'm trying to make sure y'all see my name uh, in front of you. I have some uh, fun stuff. I got all my junk. I got my only two bars. I got my all my generics, my only generics. Uh, I threw the Morgans out there, obviously, because that's junk, too. But uh, I got this in front of you because I really want to talk to you about what I've been strategizing. I've been really in the lab brainstorming, putting a lot of stuff down on paper, writing out things because I believe, you know, I'm a writer by profession. So I like to I like to live what I write and I like to write what I live. So I was writing some stuff down. I try to give myself goals uh, and I write them down. And then at the end of each week, my, whatever my weekly goals were. I read it out and I make sure that I made it happen. Um, I do the same thing. I got monthly goals. I got a goal for the. I got a goal, a goal sheet for the end of the year. And at the end, I go back and I read it and I make sure I made it happen. Um, this is something I used to do with my mom. My mom used to have me plan out stuff, write it down. So, uh, and I actually might share something I've written down from years and years ago. I was still in high school. She had me write something down. And it's crazy because I, I found it. It's at least, man, that's got to be over 10 years old. Now, and I found it, I'm reading it, and everything that I wrote down, I had I had been doing. So it's real important to me. So I've been brainstorming. Anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about what I, what I uh, came up with, my brainstorm. Now, in front of you is everything that I need to add to my stack. So everything in front of you represents what I'm focusing on this year. Because y'all know I went to start, I went heavy, heavy, heavy into American Silver Eagles. And I still have a goal for Silver Eagles. I want 100 ounces of Silver Eagles by the end of the year. I'm only like 32 away. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to start being a little smarter with doing that. I'm going to pick one up here and there when it makes sense. You know, I always tell y'all, if I can make it make sense, then I can make it make dollars, right? So, right, but my main focus is everything in front of you, generic rounds. And matter of fact, let me get to that last because I have a very specific strategy for that. But I need more uh, silver bars. I'm going to invest in some silver bars. I'm going to get more one ounces. I want to get some five ounces. I don't know if I want to go into 10. Uh, I definitely don't want to go above 10 because... If I go above 10, I might as well be buying some more gold. So I think, you know, 10, 10 is kind of that mark where maybe I'll get a 10 ounce bar. But past that, I'm going to keep it lower because at that point, I, I would just rather be getting gold. I really need to get some junk silver. This is all I have. Literally all I have. Because uh, the premiums, man, premiums at all, all the shops in my area, 21 times face. And I can't justify it. I can't support it. Um, I can't make it make sense, you know, so, so, um, you know, these Morgans, I got all around like the $40 range, uh, each and, you know, I, I didn't mind paying for it because I try to have at least something in my stack that represents each thing, you know, like I really like Morgan dollars. I wanted to have some, so I got three of them. Uh, one of them I got for a really good price, and then the other two I paid, you know, typical $40 type price for it. <clears throat> but I, I just, I can't justify the junk silver where I am. I'm going to do some research. I'm going to do uh, my due diligence. I'm going to try to find some where I can I can be happy uh, with, with paying a little bit of a premium, but I can't do over 20 times. You know, I just can't justify it at that point. So, um, but that brings me to the biggest thing, generic rounds. I need to get as many generic rounds as possible. And so I wrote down 
on my goal sheet. I want to try to start getting generic rounds at that same pace that I was getting Silver Eagles because I want to try to get as many as possible, and there's a reason for it. I don't know what the price of silver and gold is going to do because it seems like every time things are about to open back up, they shut right back down. Uh, industry and the supply chain issues that are happening right now, obviously when industry opens back up and all these supply chain issues are done, I know the Port of Oakland is full, full, full of boats that need to be unloaded. But until that happens, you are kind of in like this limbo place where we just want to make sure we're prepared. But when things open back up, I don't know if silver is actually going to run up, but it all things kind of make sense for the idea that silver is going to run up when all those issues and stuff like that is figured out. Um, and the same can be said about gold. We don't know if gold is going to start to just make a huge run up or if it's going to consolidate for longer or it's going to at some point take start to downtrend. We don't know. But all I know is when that gold to silver ratio starts to even up, like when once we start to see uh that gold silver ratio get a little closer to that 60 uh 65 range, I want to have as many generic silver rounds as possible by then because I'm going to use the generic silver rounds to trade the the ratio for this stuff right here. I want to use those generic silver rounds to trade the ratio for this right here, this this gold. I like being able to play with it. I got it in these capsules. They protect it. And if capsule gets scratched up, it's all good. I'll put it in a new capsule. But uh, I'm going to use generic rounds to, to pay for gold if that ratio starts to get where it's supposed to be. So now my, my focus right now is generic rounds as many as i can get same thing with bars because if i can get bars for a good price i want some bars i told y'all i have a goal to fill up that little case i have i think that case fits like 10 bars or something like that i want to i want to get more than that obviously but i just think the generic stuff makes the most sense for me right now it's the lowest premium and it'll be a way for me to be ready for if that gold to silver ratio starts to shrink again to get more gold. So, uh, yeah, that's my plan. That's the, the new brainstorming. I hadn't even considered, I hadn't considered uh, trading silver for gold at all uh, because I'm just like, okay, no, I just want to stack as much as I can of both. Then I started, I started, you know, watching some videos. Uh, two is one, and and uh, you know, other gold guys like that, and. I think it makes sense to play the ratio if you can play it with silver that's not necessarily, you know what I mean? Like, like I, I don't want to play the ratio with silver eagles because I want to keep as many silver eagles as I can. I'm going to get the most out of them later when, you know, 10, 20 years, when, uh, when it's time for me to trade them in and enjoy my life. But uh, the silver rounds, I really enjoy these silver rounds. I think they're real cool and stuff like that, but... I just, you know what I mean? I don't care about them as much. So it's like, if, if I don't care about them as much, then why not use these as a tool to get more of this right here? Because this right here, you know, in my opinion, when it comes to stacking, like, I, you know, I think this is the ultimate goal, right? You want to try to get as much gold as you, as you can get. So... Uh, when it comes to these generic grounds, I like them, but I think the purpose that I'm going to have for them is to convert them when that ratio shrinks into this right here. Okay. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And I wanted to share that with you. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm wrong so I can learn. Uh, those of you who, who think, you know, this is right and you guys are of like, uh, are like minded, then let me know what your perspective is on why I should do that. But uh, when it comes to uh, my plan, that's my plan right now until I learn otherwise. So if I need to learn otherwise, teach me otherwise. Anyway, appreciate y'all. If you like the content, consider subscribing. Definitely drop a like. It helps me out a lot. And please 
leave a comment. That helps me out even more. I love going back and forth. I try to reply back to everybody. We can agree. We can disagree. But at the end of the day, as long as we all stack in wealth, it's all love here. All right, y'all. Rookie Stacker, out.